guys, what is up? It is Cinder here, and today I have a tutorial for you for Fancy Mac. Um, it is basically, as you may have noticed, my dock is different down here. It is, yes, more organized, more fancier, and of course, I have different icons for everything. They are not cheap icons. For example, we can click on Safari, and it won't bring up any of this Google Chrome extension, or... We can um, click on iTunes. No, no, we won't click on iTunes. But as you can see, it'll open. I have Adobe programs to Creative Cloud, Adobe Acrobat. Uh, you can even customize folders too, such as games right here. Uh, you can customize your uh, drivers. You can customize your extender drivers. I haven't customized the drivers yet. You can customize all your applications, downloads, uh, all that good stuff. Anything with a uh, Git Info tab you can basically customize. I haven't been able to find out how to customize these two things, th uh, things but uh, later on I might be able to. Okay, so to start off, you would want to go into recovery mode to st uh, start off. So if you open up this te text, it might be a little different than theirs. It tells you how to put your computer into recovery mode. I believe this is compatible for all computers running El Cap uh, Capitine, uh, just to prove it, uh, that I am on El Capitine. Uh, it is right here. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way and you are in recovery mode and you did all the terminal stuff, uh, you have to do it if you want this to work for all icons. You now have blank icons on your thing, and now you're wondering, how do I customize them? Well, as you can see here, you can get my customized uh, packs I used in this video, so down here. These are just some of them. I make custom ones. Uh, we will get into that later. I will explain later. So to start off how to do this, um, you just click Safari, Options, Show in Finder, okay? bring you to where it is make sure it is not a shortcut it has to be the original fire file a shortcut has what this has down here in this corner where it has that little arrow so what you're gonna do right after that is you're going to click the uh, right click it click get info and say we would want to change this um, to this icon right here Okay, all you have to do is just click it once, Command A, Command C, after that you just go here, and then you just click this icon until it's a blue ring, and then you type in your password, okay, it is now there, you can see in the preview, so now what you want to do is you want to quit it, reopen it, and bam. Another way to do this is, let me load this icon here. Ooh, password again. Another way to do it is you can go into terminal. Um, yeah, that is how to get app flat icons. Uh, this is what you need. You type in your browser uh, app flat icons. For example, I use contact uh, contacts up here this is what you would type but we are not worried about that right now so let me just do this so what you would want to do instead of having to quit out of it and do all that is you would just want to click kill all and then dock now what this does is ooh, what's going on there we go it quits out of the dock and for other applications it would it would work and um, it would change the icons, but for this, you just have to click it if it doesn't work. And that's basically how to do it. You can do it for any icon now that is not locked or anything. So now that we have that out of the way, what is this Super Docker uh, program? So they are invisible barriers. I'm just going to remove this and we are going to want to put an invisible barrier there. You can do all of this and that. I'm just going to do this. You just click add a separator to applications. 
refresh your block and then you have it here now sometimes when you click it again nothing will appear but if you click it a second time something will appear it's just a little bug they have right now i'm guessing so maybe they'll update in the future i do not know but in case you guys want to find this app for yourself it's called super docker it is in the fancy mac made by me and so that's basically how that works and that's how you get your dock customized if you guys have uh, any other tutorials you would like to see just comment them below give this video a thumbs up and yeah basically let's go from there and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you